Today is Cyber Monday, and despite the ongoing pandemic, consumers are expected to spend more online this year than ever before. But some small businesses say they are running into advertising issues that could be costing them thousands in sales. News A's Shannon Handy has more on the problem and how they're trying to keep up with big box retailers. Cyber Monday and the holiday season in general is crucial for all retailers, especially small businesses right now. Unfortunately, though, some say they're missing out on sales because their online ads are getting blocked. We've saved, we've worked our booties off all year to get to this point. Kyla Darling and Kara Weaver run Tiny Trucker, a Temecula-based company specializing in hats and apparel for moms, dads, and kids. For months, their team has been preparing for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, relying on paid Facebook ads to spread the word. Then, without warning, that momentum abruptly stopped after those ads started getting blocked. We prepared, we got our inventory together. We really, all the moms in our team, put their blood, sweat, and tears into making the sale happen. And just having it shut off and nobody helping us put, like reactivate them, it's been devastating to our business. Turns out they're not alone. Small businesses nationwide have reported similar issues. Sean Lake, co-founder of Encinitas-based Bubs Naturals, dealt with his ads being blocked back in September. We just couldn't get out of the gate to really put our best performance forward, and Facebook controls that. So why is this happening? Facebook algorithms designed to filter hate speech and misinformation are also mistakenly blocking legitimate business ads. Facebook released a statement to Bloomberg apologizing, saying they, quote, regularly work to improve our tools and systems and to make the support we offer easier to use and access. In Tiny Trucker's case, they can't get a hold of anyone to help. We have a designated Facebook rep and she's gone totally dark. If you're a small business, you have to go through a whole chain before you can get to a decision. And that's what's frustrating for small businesses. San Diego State marketing professor Miro Kopik says the problem is compounded by the challenges small businesses are already facing. For starters, purple tier regulations have minimized the number of people inside their stores, making online sales and advertising critical for this holiday season in particular small businesses have been uniquely reliant on social media platforms according to Miro online holiday sales are expected to jump from 15% in 2019 to as much as 40% this year spending is projected to be up as well by about 5% a pie small businesses want a big part of we can't be in person for a lot of things that we used to depend on so right now the virtual world world with everybody is so key and cyber Monday is not over. You still have time to support one of our many local businesses.